everyone and welcome back to another mod review. Today's mod review is on the Attachment Styles mod, a mini mod by L Sims World. So I will do a quick overview from their Patreon post and then we will play this mod in game so I can show you all how it works. This mod is currently available for early access and will be public on August 5th, 2024 if you're watching this years later. And I will link everything that you need to know about downloading the mod in the video description below. If you don't know how to download mods, I will also link a mod review review tutorial for you to do that. Mods are only available to download on the PC and not for console. So a quick overview, you do need the XML injector by Scumbabo to download this mod. Make sure you download the XML injector if you are downloading this mod to play in your game. So there are four traits to represent the main four attachment styles, secure attachment style, anxious attachment style, avoidant attachment style, and disorganized attachment style. These traits are only available for young adults through elders. I I will say I do wish they were available for teenagers, but they are only available for young adults and elders. And then Sims can only have one trait at a time. They are located underneath the emotional category in Create a Sim. So in order for the attachment style pie menu to show up, you must have a decent friendship and romantic relationship with your partner. If it does not show up, continue to build your relationship with that Sim. In order to access the menu, you do need to click on the Sim you have a romantic relationship with. There you will find a few interactions based on your Sims attachment style. The avoidant, disorganized, and anxious attachment styles also come with one to two interactions when you click on your sim. For these interactions, they will not need another sim to complete. And it says see the example below, but we're about to see this in game. So to show you all this mod, I'm using my Brindleton Bay Royal Family from my main Royal Family series. We have King Johan and Queen Sadira and their kids, Prince Frederick and Princess Molly Grace, and then Lady Jessica, who is dating Frederick, and we have Graham, who is dating Molly Grace. I moved in their partners just to show you this mod. I'm only going to be using the young adults for this one, so for... Frederick, I did give him, well first let me go ahead and read the attachment styles for each of them. So, anxious attachment, sims with an anxious attachment style crave closeness and reassurance. They often worry about their relationships and need frequent validations from others to feel safe. For avoidant, sims with the avoidant attachment style value their independence and often feel uncomfortable with too much closeness. They may keep others at a distance to protect themselves from vulnerability. Sims with a disorganized attachment style display unpredictable behavior in relationships. They may fluctuate between seeking closeness and pushing others away, often due to past trauma or inconsistent caregiving. And then the last one is secure attachment. Sims with a secure attachment style are confident and comfortable in their relationships. They form healthy, trusting bonds with others, and they are adept at balancing independence with intimacy. So for Frederick, I'm going to go with anxious attachment. I do feel like that fits him best. For Lady Jessica, I did go with secure attachment. Also, if you're concerned about these taking up a trait space, there is a more traits mod. I think it allows you to have about five traits for young adults. So that mod, I'm not sure if it's updated with the newest pack, but I will link it in the description below anyway. So for Jessica, I gave her the secure attachment style. And then for Molly Grace and Graham, I don't think these really fit them completely, but I do want to show every single attachment style in this mod review. So for Molly Grace, I gave her the disorganized attachment. She can be a little bit of everywhere occasionally, mostly when she wasn't in a secure relationship. She might have played a little bit of mind games, but um, her and Graham have been together for quite a while at this point. So I did decide to give her that one. And then Graham, I really don't feel like this completely fits him, but I gave him the avoidant attachment. So we'll just pretend for this mod review's sake. If you really want to know what Graham is like, you can watch my Royal Family series. But for the mod review, this is what he has, the avoidant attachment style. Okay, so we will say Graham and Jessica are just staying at the weekend at the Brindleton Bay Palace. So for Frederick and Jessica, it says that there are some interactions when you click on them, they do have a high enough relationship and friendship. So attachment styles. Oh my gosh. Okay. So since Frederick has the avoidant attachment style, he could do cry for it. Oh no, he doesn't have avoidant. Sorry. He has the anxious attachment style. He can cry for attention, discuss fear of abandonment, express concerns about relationship, express insecurity, and seek reassurance from partner. Okay. I love this. This is perfect. So we're going to say express concerns about relationship. And I also would like to see... Um, the other ones as well. So express insecurity, seek reassurance from partner, 
I think those are very fitting and, and Frederick could definitely do, especially if something, if a conflict or an issue comes up in their relationship. So Frederick is currently expressing insecurities about relationship. And then when I click on Frederick, he can overthink relationship and overanalyze last conversation. He can also worry about the future of your relationship. So Jessica says, of course, my love, anything for you. You don't have to ever doubt my devotion to you in this relationship. Wait, this is so sweet. Okay, so Frederick can also worry about future of relationship. He can overthink relationship and he can overanalyze last conversation. So I'll have them do this first. Okay, so Frederick is looking a little bit concerned, a little bit worried here. He is overthinking the relationship a little bit. So express insecurity. So for Jessica, since she has the secure attachment style, so she can affirm relationship, be honest and open with feelings, celebrate partner successes, express love for partner, express trust in partner, provide encouragement and resolve conflict calmly. Oh, there's so many, I love this. So I'm going to just pick a few for them and see if anything comes up. So Jessica has this open heart moodlet from being honest and open with feelings. Lady Jessica feels light and free after being honest and open with her feelings. Honesty really is the best policy. And then she also has this overflowing love. I'm not sure if this comes with the mod, but Lady Jessica is glowing after expressing her love for her partner. There's nothing like the feeling of giving love. So if I do this for Frederick, if I do cry for attention, not 100% sure if that's something he would do, but if I do that, it looks like Jessica gets this mood that says, cry me a river, why don't you, from nearby Sim crying for attention. There's nothing more agitating than an attention-seeking Sim crying for attention. How annoying. <laughs> so that's interesting. All right, now next, I want to explore the, what was it, the disorganized attachment style and the avoidant attachment style. So Molly Grace has the disorganized one. It looks like she can cry about past trauma. And then for Graham, he has the avoidant one. And it looks like he can dismiss guilty conscience. That's conscience, that's interesting. And then if I click on Molly Grace from Graham's point of view, it looks like we have ask for space in relationship, deflect vulnerability, dismiss partner's emotions, downplay relationship, reject partner's love, and is that supposed to be selectively? That might be selectively share. I don't want him to ask for space. This is in my main save and whatever happens, happens. So um, let's do selectively share. I am curious. And then for Molly Grace, some of the options that come up are, oh, they're so cute. Some of the options that come up are cancel previous plans, emotional outbursts, give mixed signals, give unpredictable compliments, intense jealousy, and sudden affection. Ooh, this is interesting. Okay, so what if she gives mixed signals and then does sudden affection? I'm so curious. I'm also curious about the cancel previous plans one. So maybe let me click that one too. To Oh, 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 she's yelling at him. Oh no. Okay, hopefully this doesn't do too much damage. Okay, so it is selectively sharing. So just enough from selectively sharing. Oh, how Graham loves being guarded. When persons, even his partner, doesn't know all about him, it's such a great feeling. Interesting. I don't feel like that fits Graham, but okay. So wait, what? From receiving mixed signals, Graham can't exactly decipher what his partner is feeling towards him. Love or hate? Oh gosh, I'm scared to do this. Downplay relationship? Let's see what this does. I'm scared. Oh, she got an angry movement. Is that really? Oh no, what have I done? Is that really how you feel from partner downplaying relationship? Prince Molly Grace's partner just completely downla downplayed their relationship. Is it even worth staying together if that's how they feel? Oh no, I'm sorry. I need to do damage control. Uh oh, oh no, no. Oh no, oh, their relationship's going down. <laughs> no, I'm so sorry. Profess undying love. I've only done this for the mod. Well, Okay, time to do damage control, attempt to seduce. Well, I think that's enough for showing the mod today. It looks like I have some things to fix after this video, but let me know what you think about the mod. If you will be downloading the mod, how many Sims you think of yours will have each of the attachment styles, especially the avoidant attachment style and the disorganized attachment style. I will be giving Graham a different attachment style, most likely, maybe Molly Grace too, but this is a lot of fun and it definitely adds a lot more depth to your Sims which I enjoy and it adds some really cool interactions. There were some interactions I didn't try, but that I think would be a lot of fun if 
you are having some sims that might not be in quite as a secure relationship as my sims currently are. If this mod review was helpful, make sure you hit that like button. Don't forget to hit that subscribe button if you have not already, and I will see you guys in the next video. Bye! Thank you.